Hello, today we're going to show you how to change the stroke on your CTW Automation Dyno. Very simple, quick. First thing obviously you do is you take off the front cover, you get your tool, and there's two ways to loosen this bolt. We'll show you the first way, just using a little block that you're going to use and put right between the yoke and the lower clamp. Once you get it loose, it should come out nice and easy. You pull it out. And whether you have a standard or a metric crank, you have several different strokes to choose from. They should all be marked. And we'll just choose this one. Get it back in. And I will show you the second method you can use to tighten or loosen this bolt. Once you wind it in, if you use the e-stop, what happens is when you press the e-stop, the inverter holds the motor in place for four seconds, and that allows you to tighten up on the cam follower bolt. Once that's done, you've changed the stroke. We use the software to make it official. So you've changed the stroke, and you've pulled up the e-stop, but we have to reset the actuator because it's in an e-stop condition. So we go over here to live control. We tell the software, go ahead and reset and it goes through and it resets the inverter and clears the e-stop and once it's done you come over to configuration and you click on save and you're going to go up here from the red to the green everything's good so we've changed the physical stroke now we got to have the software understand what that means you go back to live control we click measure stroke, the dyno is about to start, and sure enough, the dyno will go out and it will begin to run nice and slow, several cycles, and the software is actually measuring the displacement sensor and understanding what the new stroke is. Once this is done, the last thing you will need to do is go into the software and save this new stroke. So that goes back into configuration. Hopefully everybody has configuration on the right side. You see we've gone from a two inch stroke to a one inch. You just wanna save that so it's updated because every time you tell the machine to run at a certain velocity, it uses that stroke to determine how fast to go. There you have it. That's simple. Thank you.